Hello, Dr. Dharmesh. I'm Bachelor of Ayurvedic Medicine and Surgery, Master's Sports Biomechanics and Kinesiology, MPhil in Sports Biomechanics and Kinesiology, PhD in Sports Methods and Training. I am an Ayurvedic Specialist, Sports Therapy Consultant, and Assistant Professor, Sports Therapy in National College, Department of Research Department of Physical Education and Sports Science. Welcome you all to the website and to know about Marma Therapy. What is Marma Therapy? It is Indian based manipulation method. Like our body is made up of muscles, bones, ligaments, joints, blood vessels, where the Atma resides. We will be doing all treatment when the Atma resides in these structures. The union of these structures, where the Prana resides, is called Marma, Bindu, the Marma point. Why it is very different to hear about Marma? It is not like any science or uh, anything like a modern name, because it was written in Sanskrit literatures. It's a Sanskrit name of Indian language. That's what you may think like, uh, what is Varma? I cannot able to understand. This is the scientific method of therapy written in San Sanskrit literatures by our Acharyas, great gurus. Varma. There are 107, 108, and 365 points. In our Indian system of medicine, there are three types of marma. Like Siddha based system, which is from Kanyakumari, our uh, southern India, which is uh, more practiced in uh, Kerala and uh, Tamil Nadu belt, and uh, marma. That is 108 points. That is practiced all over India, Sushruta based. 365 vital points, caloripite and adimurai. All these uh, are like uh, king of martial arts and the masters of martial arts. And uh, in this, um, we have specialized technique and uh, martial art technique, uh, injury prevention, and then how to rehabilitate the injury. We have all literatures and then we are following so many things uh, regarding this. In Mahma therapy, mostly it is uh, external therapies. You, actually, there is a lot of injury and then we need to uh, go ahead with the continual treatment for uh, major ligament injuries and all. We can go for uh, internal medicines. And uh, if you want to have a proper rehabilitation and uh, um, body building and everything, we have uh, internal medicines. And uh, breathing is the most important thing you need to follow. In, there are uh, four techniques mostly. Fraction method, manipulation method, opposition and stabilization method, bandaging technique. Manipulation, like uh, traction. What is this? Traction means uh, when a person is lying down, you are pulling the, one of the joints, like a leverage. Okay? The body aligned by itself. That is a kind of manually alignment. Okay? It's a manual therapy. And manipulation. Manipulation of muscles, bones, ligaments, joints, blood vessels, and all this combination. We just manipulate it separately, mostly to enhance the free range of joints. And opposition stabilization. When seeing that when there is a facet lock. So you have to stabilize one joint and then rotate the other joint in the opposite way so that it align by itself. It's an opposition and stabilization. We can do that opposition stabilization in different joints like a cervical region you can do and a shoulder region for wrist joint, hip joint, knee joint. 
and bandaging technique. Bandaging technique is nothing but uh, it is like uh, using of restriction of joint movement, immobilization they say. These are the four techniques. Uh, people are unaware of this marma therapy because they think like this is something different because of the name since it is in, written in Sanskrit. See, I will tell you one of the synonyms of uh, marma is uh, odimuri, they say. Odimuri means what? It is fracture treatment. See, it's a fracture treatment. Treatment for injury. It's a simple. Marma therapy is treatment for injury. Okay. Also, there are several concepts of therapies are there. When a person is injured, we have a treatment. When uh, to make a person injured, we have a technique. Just to enhance the self-healing energy, we have a technique. It's all now, how marma and sports are connected? Our body is made up of Panja Mahabuddha and Atma. Okay. When we get injury, our body self heal by itself. Most of the conditions, our body needs to self heal by itself. The self healing, the enhancement of the self healing, the main aim of the marma therapy. When our body, I actually I told what is uh, our body is made up of Panja Mahabuddha and Atma. When Atma is inside, we do all the things. We we'll play, we we'll just uh, eat, we just sleep, we do go for treatment and everything. When the Atma escapes, we, our body, our body is again a Panja Mahabuddha. We do rituals to give back our body to the Panja Mahabuddha. Right? When we are about to give such thing, our body is dig in, uh, buried in the soil or etc. Like in another uh, Panja Mahabuddha, the bone remains. What is the relationship between the bones and the natural healing energy? When bone is in the position, right? Bone is in the position, like our joint is in the position. Uh, our healing energy transfer without any blockage. When there is a joint blockage, the joint is moved towards the anterior or posterior or inferior. What will happen? Our body will, the tra transmission of energy will be blocked. So, our Acharya, Sushruta, Agastya, Vagpata, everybody so told how to realign this body. They have given four methods like traction method, opposition stabilization, manipulation, and bandaging. Bandaging is the one of the technique. Worldwide, it is practiced because it is a natural self-healing energy. Enhancing the natural self. If there is any sports person injured or any common person injured, whole world, the orthopedic world, what they will do? They just keep the joint in a position and then bandage it in its angle. So, keep the rest, the healing happens by itself. Same thing, our Marma therapy has so many protocols to do in the natural healing. How it is communicated, how we can relate Marma therapy with the sports. Very nice uh, uh, question. Actually, in the olden days, when a community has to show power on another community, they just fight war. In this war, there will be a lot of war injuries. Okay, they have treated with this indigenous system, and they have uh, lots of uh, treatment about like uh, bandaging and uh, healing, uh, internal medicines, exercise therapy through yoga, sumen are there. Same thing, now we are cultured, we are doing sports. So when anything happened in sports and the injuries can be easily treated through the Marma therapy and Ayurvedic system of medicine. When there is a lot of pain in the knee, if you take an example, in the knee, uh, 
any grade one, grade two injuries of like cartilage or uh, tendons or like meniscal or ligaments, uh, when you bandage and then do the rehabilitation properly, the natural healing energy will just uh, bring back the injury to the normal. And then all the joints, like if you take the knee, the patella, femoral joint, and all the three compartments has to have its own space. So we have, in marma therapy, we have manual technique and manipulation technique. What is manipulation technique and what is manual technique? Manual technique is nothing but when we align the body in opposition stabilization or traction method, the bone joints adjust to its normal articulate articulation. Okay, that is manual technique. And then manipulation. When there is a, a facet joint block in the L4, L5 region or uh, lumbar, we just check the area and then do the opposition stabilization technique. I'll just uh, keep some of the pictures for your uh, knowledge. So what happened when we rotate and then it opens by itself. And then the most important joint for everyone is like Atlanta occipital junction. Our uh, Sushruta, Charaka and uh, Agastya have given this is the very vital uh, point. Uh, point in that. When you see that um, in this joint, in the upper joint, it has to be in a position to transfer the healing energy. So we have a technique to correct this. There is a lot of uh, people thinking about uh, marma therapy or Ayurvedic therapies or Indian indigenous system will give a very late response. No, that is wrong. We have a very instant relief in very different different conditions. We have very instant relief. For example, uh, ankle sprain. Uh, our uh, Rio Olympics champion uh, Kevin Cordes. I have Cordes. I have treated him uh, when I went to Singapore to class. They invited me to take. Uh, lecture on sports injuries and marma therapy in 2014 uh, December and there I met uh, Kevin Cordes. He is a swimmer and breaststroke swimmer specialist. During his uh, one of the training days he sprained his ankle and then I found that uh, this ankle joint uh, marma is uh, in injured. I did uh, Ayurvedic therapies and bandaging technique and uh, manipulation. And post, I just uh, gave him um, strength conditioning exercises, like single leg, and then already he's following so many exercises. And then I just interrupted some of the exercises. And uh, happiest news, news is like uh, uh, after preceding years, uh, uh, after a few months, uh, he got a uh, gold medal for uh, his country. That was so great uh, news for all of us. And uh, Vignesh Hariharan, kettlebell champion. Champion. Uh, last year, 2019, he went to Australia. He was training for uh, one and a half years for that uh, event. He came out with uh, severe knee injury and uh, joint injury and uh, blockage in the neck. Then I found uh, his Atlanta occipital junction in uh, trouble and uh, facet joints uh, in a problem and uh, knee, uh, com all compartments are squeezed because of his uh, heavy lifting and then ev every time he goes for a hyper extension of the knee. Then uh, it's just we have like uh, one week of time. Then I gave him a treatment uh, and then adjusted all the joints and then I put him on some uh, special uh, diet. Immediately, the pain reduced. 
he won a gold medal and won silver for our uh, India. Yeah. So he is a world champion now. There are so many cases. Uh, in our sports therapy departments, we have a fastest two women in India. So we used to give lots of tips and lots of uh, posture, biomechanics and everything incorporated with these marma points and marma manipulation. We give lots of importance to marma therapy. Uh, mostly the integration part is most important with the proper diet, exercise and all. So we gave, uh, we got lot of uh, relief and lot of uh, uh, improvement in athletes. When a person, when an injured athlete is uh, suffering, first, if he cannot able to play a normal uh, sport, he must rest for some time. And icing is the most important thing. Always check for a joint alignment. That's the most important thing I need to give you. You need to check for joint alignment. How you will check for joint alignment? You can visit any doctor nearby, any physios or any mama therapist. You can call us directly and then we'll explain you. So like a spine needs to be in a proper position and uh, it is like a palpation method and uh, we have like a different rotation techniques to put back self-help therapy uh, we have you can contact us for self-help therapy for the joint alignment if the joints are in a position you can able to easily get uh, high performance Evolution. like marma therapy is more scientific more effective for sports people we have treated plenty of people. I'm a head of uh, the sports therapies in our uh, department, research departments of physical education in sports university. We have like hundreds of sports people who are getting more uh, benefit from our uh, marma therapy and its integration with other sciences. So it is not a new one to Take it to your brain. It is our old system and then it has lots of scientific reason behind this. Okay? To sportsnarad.com for giving me this opportunity to talk about our marma therapy. Marma therapy, it's a joint spacing technique. It has a manual therapy. It has a manipulation therapy. It has a bandaging technique and uh, it is a naturalist. It enhances the self-healing energy. Okay? Just keep it in mind. And uh, whenever a person is uh, having a pain, 100% it is joint blockage. So, talk to us. Keep in touch. Dr. Darmesh from Trimmers and Thomas.